Greetings from Mexico. My name is Rocco Bova. I'm the managing director of Grupo Hotelero 1800, based in Cuatro Cienegas in the northern part of beautiful Mexico. In Mexico, since uh, the start of the pandemic, um, we actually experienced a growth in, um, in traveling. Believe it or not, since uh, July 2020, Mexico reopened every activity and with obviously the, the necessary sanitary measures. However, travelers can travel freely within Mexico and also enter Mexico without any vaccine or PCR test. The only thing they will need to do is to present a self-certification, is an application that they can download at the airport, where they state basically their health, and if they have any temperature, or if they've been in contact with any person uh, uh, suffering from COVID recently. So since uh, July 2020, business has actually been growing, believe it or not. Um, we have experience in both a previous hotel where I was working in Yucatan and now working in the north of, of the country. Uh, we have experience actually in both, in both places uh, an increase in business and uh, generally uh, done by um, national uh, travelers. Now, um, it is important to understand as well that uh, as we are limited in traveling, we also need to uh, give an incentive to, to the local structure and uh, tourism uh, um, activities. Mexicans, they love traveling, I guess, like everybody else in the world. And um, uh, we often think about traveling abroad and exploring new countries, but uh, we know quite little about our own countries. My suggestion is actually to encourage traveling uh, within uh, driving distance, perhaps taking a car and drive two to three, even four hours, and spend maybe a couple of days, you know, in a nearby town or village, uh, which you don't know. This will give, obviously, an incentive to the, to the local uh, tourism attractions, uh, will provide, obviously, a salary and uh, livelihood for the people of the local community, and also will open new doors for you as well. You know, you will be able to learn about your own country and, um, and you, will, uh, you will be able to em enjoy as well places that you never thought you're going you're gonna to visit. We generally tend to leave uh, our own country as the last. Instead, I think we should start changing our mindset and begin with our country before exploring the rest of the world. The other thing I would like to suggest to travelers is also to ensure that when they buy, they buy gifts, souvenirs, or any, any sort of uh, uh, takeaway or, or, or um, uh, gift, uh, always uh, ensure that the gift or the souvenir is made in the country. Again, providing livelihood and providing income to the local community, or at least to the country. I don't want to say that, but I will say it anyway. You know, there's no point to buy a gift made in Italy in uh, Mexico. Um, I'm from Italy myself, so definitely even myself, when I travel, I, I definitely buy something that is made in the country so that I can ensure uh, some sort of income to the local community. The other thing that I like to suggest is also about the gastronomy. Enjoy the gastronomy of the place. There's nothing better and nothing fresher than a, a local dish. If you start to think that, you know, having a little bit of uh, nostalgia of, uh, of your uh, uh, homemade pasta, in my, like in my case, for example, as I am from Italy, while you travel in the United States or Brazil or any other country, well, probably you should try to um, enjoy the local dishes instead and, and enjoy the local uh, gastronomy. Uh, not only your palate will uh, learn something new, uh, but also you will be able to go back home and share this experience with your friends. And last but not the least, uh, um, going back to my first, uh, my first um, suggestion is also to uh, drive by. So there's nothing better to actually enjoy a nice drive 
and at the same time uh, stop in a place that you like. Take a picture, maybe have a lunch, then go back to the car and, and drive again. Uh, this is a short uh, break not only is going to allow you to rest and to restore, but at the same time is also going to generate something for, for this local community that you may encounter in, in between your, uh, your travel. For over the next couple of years, um, I, at least I am guessing at least another year or two, uh, the way we used to travel uh, can no longer apply. So we need to start to rethink how we're going to travel and where we're going to travel. And um, as such, we will be able to have a more sustainable way of traveling. We will be able to help and assist the community. And uh, we will be able to still travel, you know, maybe with a, with, in a different way, but at least to continue to enjoy learning and exploring new places. I wish you all the best and keep traveling no matter what. Even with your own mind, you can. <music>